Four out of five Singaporeans are currently on board the Trace Together program. The National Contact Tracing Scheme was developed last year to help locate close contacts of COVID-19 cases faster. Geraldine Yap goes behind the scenes to find out how the technology helps in the fight against the pandemic. Armed with data, these workers trace for individuals who need to be quarantined. Tools like the Safe Entry Check-In System and Trace Together, which works on Bluetooth signal exchanges, help them carry out their tasks to track down potential COVID-19 carriers. We see how long the person has been exposed to the uh, positive case um, and the, the distance the person is uh, to the positive case. Based on this information, we will also interview the member of public and um, ask them certain questions like were they wearing a mask, were, um, how long were they at that particular location. From there, we try to coincide all the information together to see where, where the exposure level has been. Using Trace Together and Safe Entry, contact tracers only need a few hours to do contact tracing, compared to around two days previously without the tech. So far, over 25,000 close contacts, or people within two meters of a confirmed case for 15 minutes or longer, have been identified. Of these, about 160 eventually tested positive. With new clusters emerging in Singapore, authorities say the use of these technologies is even more important. We have uh, some clusters of uh, COVID-19 cases in uh, Singapore at the moment, and uh, some of these are um, you know, sort of linked to unlinked cases. So this is of concern, and we want to be able to know and identify these clusters so that we can investigate them thoroughly and contain the spread of COVID-19. Dr. Lee adds that to make contact tracing more effective and efficient, a high coverage for Trace Together and safe entry usage is needed. 